Thanksgiving weekend at your Northern California Toyota Dealer. Hello, I'm Doug McConnell, and we've got some great adventures for you along the Bay Area's back roads. We'll take a road trip from Sebastopol to the sea, exploring Sonoma County's traditions, farming, craftsmanship, creativity, and eating. Then we'll get lost in the woods and find our way back home, with a little help from our friends. We'll also discover a paradise for pelican lovers. Seven seven six suit. There's a sport that combines running or walking and a little map reading. Is that bouncing in the or what? No, it's one of those countries or whatever. Okay. <laughs> it's participants come in all ages and sizes. <laughs> and its arena is the great outdoors. The sport is called orienteering. It started in Scandinavia in the early part of the 20th century and is very popular throughout Europe. In the U.S., it has a smaller but devoted following of people who know that to enjoy the sport, all you need is a map and a compass and a spirit of adventure. We've come to Joaquin Miller Park in the Oakland Hills to join a meet organized by the Bay Area Orienteering Club. The top line is for the first round. That's your first loop. Club founder Joe Scarborough has assembled a diverse crowd, including top competitors okay. Don't. This way. and cash strollers. In orienteering, markers or controls are laid out across a landscape and noted on detailed and highly accurate maps. The object is to find each control. Punch your card to prove you've been there, and get back to the finish line as quickly as possible. Uh, orienteering is a balance between speed and accuracy, and there's always a fine line, whether you're a beginner or an advanced. You have to walk that line, and once you're going too fast, you wind up overall doing that way. So, uh... Hello, time party. Starting times are staggered, and at this meet, there are three different courses. Two are for beginners, and one is for intermediate and advanced orienteers. Oh, good, okay. Let's feed them. Mrs. Lindemann's first graders from Roosevelt School in Redwood City are plotting their courses right alongside members of the Oakland Police Department's SWAT team. But they both could learn lessons from another diminutive team. Either we go down here and all the way up here one way, way, or we could go this way the short way. Nine-year-old twins, Kirsten and Tanya Haig, and ten-year-old Linnea Olin have been orienteering most of their young lives. Sometimes the phone is getting lost. It's got to be right here. If you know where you are. We've either run past it or we're standing on top of it here. We have to go that way. It's over there, that way. You just said we have to go that way. No, we have to, we have to go that way, bushwhack, and then we hit the, we hit the little trail. As the girls and the SWAT team navigate, is the here, George? Yeah. The advanced competitors are already finishing with a bang. Wyatt Riley barely edges out Neil Barlow for the victory. Oh, oh, oh. The loops are different. So you don't see each other anymore until you get to like the last marker. And all of a sudden, there you guys are. And all of a sudden, you come in. Oh, look at He's coming up here like Wayne. All this running through the woods may seem rough on the terrain, but Joe Scarborough says that orienteering is actually pretty gentle. The sport does go off trail, but it's a dispersed sport. You very rarely see any evidence of what people have done. The three bushwhackers finish high in their division, but the first graders and the SWAT team aren't far behind. You go through the whole course and you come back in, and there's a finish line, but there's some kids ahead of you. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to mention that. 
<laughs> For these guys, the meet is more than good-natured fun. It's a chance to mingle with the and to gain some practical experience in previously unfamiliar territory. And someday we may have to come up here and hunt somebody down or look for somebody who's lost. So this is very good for us. So would you guys do this ever again, do you think, sometime? Yeah! <laughs> for Mrs. Lindemann's first graders, orienteering works on a much more basic, but no less important level. What did you hope they would get from this whole experience out here? Um, learning how to read the map. And we practice at school, and I could see some of the children were starting to get them. Off we go. Okay, well, where are you going? Oh, yeah, sure, I gotta look at the map. Now it's my turn to hone my map reading skills. Fortunately, Joe keeps me from straying too far. That's the hill here, right? Uh, uh, you're making a parallel there. That's this hill. Let's see, we're down here. We wanna. Oh, wait a minute, hold it. Remember what it is you're looking for? It's a re it. A little valley. A little valley. Very shallow. Valley. Got a little shallow valley here. I can truly say I had a ball orienteering, and for a beginner, didn't do too badly. Joe, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> the Bay Area Orienteering Club is active throughout the Bay Area. For more information, call its hotline at 408-255-8018. <laughs> Wait a minute. Everybody's gone. <laughs> When we come back, a picnic 